Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to uh, show you how to use Stable Diffusion Web UI using AMD GPU model 5700 XT. So I know this is one of the GPU that's uh, very popular. So I know a lot of people have it. And uh, I think uh, it also works great for the Web UI for Stable Diffusion. So I will uh, like do a quick demo for it. So for the installation, it's uh, exactly the same as the uh, 6700 XT, which I had a video for that. So if you are interested in install that, please refer to my previous video. I will include uh, the video link in the description. All right. So, uh, so we will also need to activate uh, the virtual environment. And uh, I will quickly show you that uh, in this virtual environment, the GPU is uh, 5700 XT. So we import a torch. And uh, we get the torch code, the device name. All right, as it uh, renders uh, 5700 XT, we were able to detect uh, the GPU within our virtual environment uh, in Python, in Torch, so everything looks good. Okay, so we can go into our clone the stable diffusion web UI directory. And uh, the one thing I want to mention is that uh, there's a slightly difference between 5700 and 6700. So for some reason, 5700 uh, doesn't work with uh, half precision. So if you use the exactly the same command, you will get a black image. So you will need to modify the statement a bit. So you will need to use full precision. So, so the additional parameter arguments you need to provide is called a dash dash precision value is four and then dash dash no half. So it tells the, the stable diffusion that uh, we will use the four precision. Okay, and uh, the, the other are the same. You need uh, to provide the HSA override GFX version 10.3.0 and then the Python launch.py and uh, you press enter to start. Yeah, all right, so it uh, printed out the information, shows that uh, the URL is uh, the local host. We can open that in your web browser. Yeah, we see that uh, we successfully opened uh, the web page, and then we can do some tests. So I will do do some quick test using using the chill out mix model, which is uh, great in generate uh, photorealistic uh, images. 
So if you have not heard about it, I highly recommend that you check it out. Yeah, and in the console, it prints out the information. Okay, so it uh, successfully loaded uh, the model weight, and uh, we can now like uh, test our prompts. So I did one from uh, the web page. So let's uh, let's try it. Yeah, for some reason to use uh, some of the Laura. So because I don't have them, I will remove them. And for the negative prompt, all right. And the spe steps, it shows 25, sample of DPM++. CFG scale 7, the size, the model, okay, size. I will use uh, the default uh, 512 times 512. So scale 7, all right. And it also have, have the um, sampler, okay. All right, so, so let's do a quick test. Press uh, the button to generate. Yeah, the first round, it will like do some model loading steps. So it will take about one to two minutes. But after that, it will like just to be the normal process. So for the 5700, so it's about uh, uh, like uh, a little slower than 6700 uh, XT, as you will see, but I think it's uh, totally acceptable. Yeah, we see it uh, started the process. And we can see the intermediate uh, like results right here. And in terms of the speed, it's at uh, 1.54 iteration per second. All right, so I think, uh, think it looks, looks uh, quite good. Yeah, let's do another one because as I mentioned, the second time to uh, like, like be very quick. Yeah, it looks good, I think. You can see it right to and uh, we can we can increase the steps to twenty-five and uh, we do batch count of uh, four. So this way we can get a uh, uh continuously like a f four generations of the image so we can get uh, four images and uh, we can press uh, generate
we can see the speed is about 1.57 iteration per second. All right, we, we have uh, the output generated. I think it looks uh, quite nice. And uh, it, uh, it really like looks looks like uh, real people, some real photography. So I think uh, like uh, just uh, like the real world, right? So so here is another example I did uh, previously running stable diffusion web UI on this GPU. In general, I think uh, it runs uh, stable diffusion web UI very smoothly. So if you have this uh, GPU 5700 XT, I think uh, it will be great that you can give it a try if you are interested. Okay, thank you very much. I hope uh, this video is useful to you. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.